What's going on my fellow residents, it's me the Frozen Cavern, is it ever going to continue through our journey, or I guess, and maybe, depends on how long this takes, our journey through Crash Bandicoot, or at least the first game. But in this episode, well, no, in the last episode, wow, I'm doing really bad with this intro, but in the last episode we completed the second island, and my goodness, that took a good while, but in this episode, time to begin the third and hardest island in the game, making sense, since, you know, it is the last island. But oh my goodness, yay, <laughs> this... This island is going to be fun because some of the levels, they are quite, quite drastic. Especially one bridge level that isn't too far away from this one. It's like, what, two levels, I think, later on? All I know is it's after the boss, or at least the first boss, which is Pinstripe. That's what his name is. Keep in mind, I haven't played this game in a good while, so if I do make any blunders, then... That'll be the reason why. Go up. And also, platforming, it gets pretty tricky sometimes. Also, I'm surprised Crash can kind of just land on those just fine. I mean, it makes sense for him to, since it's not, you know, the red ones, which are, you know, boiling hot. But at the same time, uh, it's weird because in Crash 2, and I'm pretty sure in 3, there are, like, ice physics, so for why it doesn't apply here, which, to be honest, thank goodness it doesn't, or at least I'm pretty sure it doesn't uh, apply. It's weird, because physics, <laughs> but I should really be grateful if it's in my favor. I mean, there are some times where, like, I'll take, uh, what, well, I can't speak English today, <laughs> but there are times where I'll take, like, things that don't exactly make too much sense. I'm surprised I got that life, and I'll try to just have it work in my favor more often than not but if it but if it just if it's completely unexcusable then no I'm not gonna uh, well well I kind of have to allow it but at the same time it's like it just doesn't make sense sometimes and despite not playing this game for a few days I'm doing decently well I say before I get hit or die <laughs> whichever comes first but so far so good uh, I can't wait till we get to High Road. <laughs> it's literally like two levels away. If most of this episode were to be High Road, I would not be surprised. I honestly wouldn't. Five, one, it. Two, three, four, five. Goodness, counting these, and I almost miscounted. Two, three, four. Yeah. Miscounting those can be terrible the no are you kidding me I had all the boxes oh okay and unfortunately I have to watch all the wampa fruit go away okay I'm gonna have to make a little cut to the end of that because I know you guys don't want to see that again a few inches later all right we made it this time unfortunately she still gets kidnapped but we got all the boxes for the bonus level at least. Now I don't know, I didn't check, <laughs> and I should have, but I don't know if there's a color gem here. Oh, I lost my max when I died in the bonus level too. Uh, that sucks, okay, gotta be really careful then. I'm surprised I haven't seen another one yet. Okay, I'm gonna wait for that. There we go. Is that? Uh, I think, yeah, it crashes a little bit off on, like, the Z-plane there, but whatever. Or at least I think that's a Z-plane. Yeah, Z. Okay, there's another one. There we go. Now we can stand getting hit, but, of course, bottomless pits don't really matter. Uh, oh, wait, I have to hit those. Oh, uh, I wish there was a faster way to do this. That's useful, at least. Hmm, weird. I would have thought there was something at the top of that, but I guess not. Oh, goodness. <laughs> uh, I'm really not ready for, uh, what is it? High Road. And I almost got hit there. But, yeah, I'm really not ready for High Road. And if this is a color gem, then I'm going to try and continue on without dying. But this part is a bottomless pit, so... Gotta be very careful. That I'm surprised I didn't get hit there. That was going super slow. Alright, oh, is the other one down there? 
I feel like it is. That would make more sense. They can't... Yeah, thank you, camera. You didn't go down for a good while. I was wor... Aw, uh, do I have to jump up there? I think I did. And I don't think he'll come all the way over... No, he won't. Oh, uh, I probably had to go all the way under there. That is a my bad. Okay, yay. But... Like I said, not 100%ing the game, it would still be nice, but, <laughs> well, actually, no, but given how much I have to do, goodness, but, uh, it would be nice to get as much as I can, that's the proper phrasing. And, of course, with as much as I can, I have to get these boxes. But they do have lives with them, so, and I'm gonna need them, but, uh... <laughs> It was all in that last, uh, Brio level. I don't know where the other one was. I never saw it. Alright, can I skip through this? It's like 30 boxes. How do I skip through this? How do... I don't know how to properly skip this. I still don't. I should have checked. And you guys probably heard me button mashing, but whatever. I think you have to alternate between X and circle, but I have, I have no idea, dude. Some people have said you hold circle. Some people say you, like, mash the circle button. I, I don't know. Alright, uh, I think the... I'm, I'm still not wanting to do high road, dude. <laughs> Goodness, I, I was playing the PS1 version, that took me so long. I, uh, I regret everything now. <laughs> Alright, let's go. This level is extremely overhead. I have to remember these uh, lasers here. Because they alternate between the things. Is there anything up here? No, there isn't. Go. Okay, apparently I went at a bad time. Okay, and you also get a trophy for getting electrocuted. Interesting, but whatever. Got to time... Th or I can get hit by that. But you have to time these right. Okay, I was fine there. Uh, Okay, I got very lucky there, my goodness. Alright, I remember, like, going through here. I'm pretty sure you have to backtrack at some point. Yeah, you do. Okay, that was dumb of me. Just gonna try and... There we go. Alright, so that op... Well, not open. That created boxes somewhere else. I don't know. I almost ran dead into that. Well, let's go this way now, since it's kind of the only other way we can go. Uh, oh, okay, my perspective was a little weird. How I saw those were weird. I thought one was, like, on top of the other, but let me get this checkpoint, if I can. There we go. Jump back. I messed up, <laughs> but the good thing, we got the checkpoint right there. Oh, I just barely made that. Oh, the life to replace the one I just lost. Nice. Uh, camera. It It's somewhat good for going forward. Not that, that great for going back. I jumped too early. Okay. Um, wait, what? I'm pretty sure I jumped on thin air there. That or the actual, like, checkpoint box has a hitbox, but... Eh, I don't know. Alright, how... Oh, goodness, how do I do this? Okay, wait for you to go over there jump now there we go uh i can't go that way uh okay never mind then i'm just gonna go back and pretend like i didn't do anything i guess all right no uh, no <laughs> need to be patient have to learn that from the last episode be patient or else you'll end up dying i say as i'm running dead on Oh no, there was a box there. Okay, I was I was a little confused at first. I'm like, wait, why is there just a random life here? Uh oh, this is gonna be awkward. Ah, uh, what? I wasn't even touching that. Okay, let's just keep going then. So I guess you can't land in the middle there, even though it clearly gives you the option. And there's nothing down that way. Or at least I'm pretty sure there isn't. I am fairly certain that I missed out on some boxes. Oh, yay. Speaking of boxes, and I didn't get a checkpoint, so... Oh, are you kidding me? 
Oh, uh, well, there's there's way more boxes that I've missed anyway, so... I'm not gonna worry about it. Maybe that was also like a colored gem part. I, I don't know. Uh, sorry, Crash. I, I have to let you get hit by those boxes, but... Without colored gems, or at least I think that's a colored gem part, then... You have to get hit. It's just the way things go, unfortunately. Okay, this is a color gem one, so this one wasn't, but I'm pretty sure I would have needed the, uh, a color gem from another level anyways. Now, I remember this level gave me trouble in the, uh, PS1 version. And I think it was near the end of the level? Unless I'm not thinking of the right level, then I'm being stupid. <laughs> Which is probably correct, because I don't remember this being in the level that I'm talking about. All right, let's go. Uh, gotta jump around because, yeah, physics. Don't know how that works. But then again, we're talking about a giant orange marsupial. Can this? There we go. Uh, okay, yeah, they don't give you that much time to go on the falling platforms. And I remember that there's boxes over here. I just remembered that I can't die. <laughs> I want the color gem. I was going to the right and nothing else. I don't know why I fell there. And fortunately, I'm pretty sure it doesn't count if you get trans uh, sent back to the beginning of the level. So, yay. I don't think I want to waste my time, but at the same time, it might not count. Who knows? I, I want to be lucky and say that it doesn't, but knowing how merciless this game can be sometimes, it probably did count for me dying there. Okay, let me line this up so that going to the right is completely accurate. Because that might have been what got me killed before. Alright, this platform also does fall, but it's easy to get everything. I was very close to sliding off there, or slipping off or whatever. But just in case it, um, what is it? Just in case it, like, didn't ca- Never mind. Because I got a checkpoint now, so, yeah, never mind. I was about to say that if, uh, if it did, well, didn't count, then I would make sure to get all the bosses, bosses, boxes anyways, but, oh my goodness, camera here is weird. But, uh, yeah, I just died again, so, not like it matters. I thought he was further behind me, whoops. Okay, we made it across, and now we have the bonus level, I'm not taking that because I'm pretty sure completing the bonus level gets rid of the Aku Mask as well. I'm not sure though. But, uh, whoops. <laughs> well, at least it doesn't take too long for the level to restart, I guess. But, yay. Alright, let's try that again. There we go. That went a lot better than the first time. As you can tell, uh, I'm getting around like 60 lives every single time, which is good, but I do kind of want more and I'm going to need more. So, by the way, I can clearly tell that down there is, uh, what is it, later on the level. So it's kind of weird. I wonder if you can like jump down there now. I, I would assume you can't. I mean, with how this game was... Uh, well made. I would assume that you couldn't just break the game like that by just jumping down there. Maybe in the PS1 version? Probably not. I'm not sure. But who knows. I don't exactly watch many speedruns of Crash, so... Again, weird camera angles, and this is going to be especially weird because the platform was blocking my way. Okay. Alright. Made it to a checkpoint at least, though, so... That will be decently nice. Oh, wait, what? Why did... You can jump on... Okay, whatever. Didn't know you could jump on the screen there. Alright, just go over here. Again, really weird angles for me to jump. This directional pad is also a little weird. I'm not sure if it's really like that or 
is just being extremely sensitive because I can sometimes feel like I'm moving on the like up or down part of it, but other times I I really don't feel like I am. You know, cause me to, to like uh, jump at a weird angle that I'm not trying to jump at. And this should be yeah yeah this is the end of the level. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, they're giving you lives. This is the end of the level. I had all the boxes too. <laughs> All the boxes, but you died. Ugh. <laughs> Never had to experience that until now, and I don't like it. I really, really don't. Ugh. <laughs> it, nothing hurts me more than knowing that I can get everything, but there's one small thing keeping me... Two color gems back to back? Okay, weird. But... There's just one very small thing keeping me from getting it. And, of course, it's me not dying throughout the entire level. So, of course, I couldn't, of course I couldn't get it. Now, this was the level that I was talking about before, where it gave me some trouble. Uh, no, this only gives me five, right? Wait, was that ten? I'm not sure, hold on. Oh, so East bounces... Uh, two. Okay, so that was ten. Out the way. Now, when I played the PS1 version, I kind of thought that, um, how this level worked is that it was the same guy throughout, like, every- Ow, I didn't see that barrel. But, I thought it was, like, the same guy that was throwing the barrel throughout the entire level because of how hitting enemies in that version worked because it threw the enemy back every single time I did it. So... I thought that it was the same guy, but here they just disappear in the same exact spot. So, no need for confusion there. And, yeah, barrels are coming down now. Yeah, this is rather weird because of, like, when you're going uphill, you might not see the barrels, so you have to kind of expect them a little bit earlier than you would like, and I thought I would get hit there. Very surprising that I didn't. It also kind of doesn't help that there's a few other obstacles in the way. Well, not really in the way. They're like there for just completionist purposes. All right, let's go. Got to be careful about those bouncing barrels. They are quite an annoyance. All right, let's get them. There we go. All right. Uh, gotta be careful falling into these pits, because this is a colored gem, and if I fall into those, then I end up dying instantly. And I do not want that, so. Alright, uh. Okay, use the invincibility frames, get over. Alright. What? Why did that go there? Weird. Alright, so I can die into bonus levels as much as I want. They don't count. But I don't have any more Aku Aku mask and Right, I for I was being more hasty because I forgot those have a chain reaction, so What is with Crash's eyes here? I guess it's be because of the lighting, but I thought his like the green part of his uh irises were just super enhanced for some reason. It was weird. Okay. Let's just continue. Okay, I got very lucky there. We'll get this box, get the extra two lives, and we're good. But yeah, the lighting in that was very weird. Okay, I have all the boxes. Now I... I thought... <laughs> I thought that was gonna hit me. I died, yay. Uh, and that's kind of the main reason why going up these is very, very awkward. Because you don't know where exactly they're going to land. Oh, goodness. It's kind of weird how they do a little bit of a skip. And I was at the very end of the level. Again! Okay, I guess the name of this is going to be But You Died. <laughs> Nearly perfect, But You Died. That's the second time in a row. My goodness. That was the only time I died, too. I think, I think aside from, like, at the beginning of the last level, there was only one other time where I died as well. Oh, I'm upset. I'm very upset. All right, let's just let's just defeat Pinstripe. He's a relatively easy boss when you know the pattern of this guy.
All right, stop shooting. You have to stop shooting at some point. Okay, yeah, while he's reloading, that's your time to shoot him. Well, not shoot him. <laughs> we don't have guns, but uh, hit him. And I think I hit him three times? Yeah, I hit him three times, and then he changes up the pattern. And then he does that twice. No, he does it three times in three separate locations, and then you can go up and hit him. By the way, clearly at the angle you're at, he could clearly shoot you, but he just doesn't. He's just a terrible shot. Maybe not there, but there I'm pretty sure he can. Like, there's a clear line down the middle. But since he's just spraying and praying, he's not really going to hit me. Alright, so I might be able to just kill him here? Yeah, I can. Okay. Because if you're unlucky, he'll, like, shoot you from the right, and then he'll shoot you in the middle. Which will cause him to want to reload. But yeah, that boss, very easy. And now we come to the bane of existence that is High Road. I hate High Road because... Okay, I'll try and explain this while I'm playing through the level, but that's probably not going to go well, but I'll try anyways. So, with High Road... Well, no, with <laughs> the PS1 version, the saving in that game, it was very bad. Because how it worked is that you couldn't save unless you beat a bonus level. So, imagine how it was having to redo not only this level, but also the pinstripe boss fight every single time you got a game over. It was infuriating having to do that every single time. And also, because I didn't really... uh, Wait. My goodness, how did I... I forget, because, like, there was some other thing that I also did. Okay, there's only one plank there. But there was something else that I also did, because, like, before it was just a pinstripe boss, I also had to uh, defeat, like, the toxic waste level, like, over and over. So, yeah, that was fun. As you can clearly tell, my <laughs> that's not me being very happy at the... Okay, I slipped. But that's not me very, not being very happy. I'm not going to worry about those boxes, by the way. Okay, whoops. But yeah, I'm not going to worry about those boxes. This is one level that I can do without 100%ing. I just want to get this level over with. And yes, you can jump on the ropes, but I'm going to try to not to. So that I don't feel cheap. But goodness, at the same time. Okay, let's see if we can make this. Okay, I, or I can just jump right over the turtle. Of course I can. And now I've gotten my pity Yaku, mainly because all the other times were somewhat self-destructs. But yeah, pity Yaku doesn't really matter when most of your deaths are going to be insta-kills to pits. So yay. Thank you, game. You're very considerate. I mean, there, it technically counted, but shut up. Now don't jump over the turtle this time. Okay, or slip off the turtle. Okay, made it through that. I don't think I need him here, but maybe I do. Okay. Uh, I might want to forget him, but don't know. Okay, I made it. I hit him on accident. Okay, well here I kind of have to rely on the uh, rope. Because if I don't, then... Okay, or I can jump off the bridge. But... If I didn't, then I couldn't progress at level. So I'll only use a bridge if I absolutely need to. But, oh goodness. By the way, the way that this pig, I have no idea what that thing is. <laughs> pig, dog, whatever it is. It's programmed a little bit better in this game than it was in the original. Because in the original, it would continually chase after you. If like you, um, that was too early probably. But... It would continue to chase after you if you were just standing like over like on this section of the bridge so <sighs> I wasn't gonna make that more than likely all right finally made it over to the checkpoint keep in mind I had over 60 lives when I got here I'm below 50 now yay high road is a fun High Road is a fun level, everyone. It totally doesn't want to make you tear your brains out or anything. Due to the 
pinpoint landings that you have to make. And by the way, I did get to the point where I had double Pityaku. Again, not like it really matters considering most of your deaths here are going to be to bottomless pits. Which in most games are instant kills. Yay. Alright, let's... Uh, I don't know how this is going to work out. Okay. Uh, I, I swear, the perspective when it comes to landing on turtles is the dumbest thing, like, on this level. It's one of the most frustrating. What? So, not only did I slide off, I still hit the turtle. Hitboxes, they're also really good in this game. Case in point. Hello, Frozen's fellow residents. This is his computer making a little cameo because he's apparently gone... Sorry for the pun. Insane due to High Road. High Road is some garbage. Well, yes. Anyways, as I'm having to, you know, render this video, I can only imagine playing it. And oh goodness, I don't want to imagine it. Have mercy on his soul. Yay. Made it to a checkpoint. I want the level to be over. That is my second token. And only my second token. I want this level to be over. Oh, goodness. Notice how easy that section was it was without turtles. The turtles, they have the dumbest hitboxes in this game. They have the slipperiest target. Just don't have too many turtles and we'll be fine. Problem is, look at this. There's like four consecutive jumps. You can't see it because of the fog. But four consecutive jumps with turtles. Where you have to line this one up so it's at the very edge. To make the precise jump over. And then if you mess up the last one, you know, you just have to restart. You know, th just lovely. Goodness. Two. Three. Four. And you know, if you're not the very edge of the turtle, you can still end up dying. It's, you know, it's fun. To be fair, I did hold that one up too much. Okay, but that's not it. Okay, thank you for no checkpoint, but we do have a bonus level, so that's technically a checkpoint, but if you didn't collect all those for some reason, because it's literally just in a straight line, then, you know, no checkpoint for you. Good luck! <laughs> oh, goodness. Collecting all these doesn't even matter anyways. I, I can't get, like, the gem for it. It's not gonna matter at this point. I'm just here for the lives. Thank you for the extra life, but it's not like it matters because I've lost like half my life to this level. I started before, no, not before, like with more than 60 and now I'm less than, almost less than 30. I can't believe I didn't make that. As you can probably tell, I'm probably a little insane right now. That's what this level does to you. It, it drives you insane. Trying not to make a pun there, by the way. That's just how I feel about High Road. And thank goodness it's over. That's honestly my least favorite level in the game. I remember getting so many game overs. Because. I just got so many lives. That's honestly the, the only reason. I lost 30 lives to that. At least 30 lives. My goodness. This might be a whole part on its own. Honestly, it might. 
Slippery Climb. Okay, honestly, I've heard that this level's bad. It's not that bad, but... Uh, I'm going to eat real quick because I do need to take a little bit of a break. I did lose 30 lives to High Road, the great, great level that it is. So, I'm going to go eat, and then I'm going to be back. I know that's unprofessional, <laughs> but I don't care. This is my video.